new skills. Like, boy, you in the danger room. Yeah, you in the danger room. Come on now. stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for him. And if he objects? We are here on official Fable Town business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Hey, open up! It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. Lawrence, you in there? Hey. Hey. All right. We'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. Bullet passed through the chair. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Still a little sticky. Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. <gasps> Oh my god, Bigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. 
We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that, Snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? What happened? I don't know. I... Oh, shit. I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. You probably had a lung. Great. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. Just fucking go away. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fuck, Georgie. Lawrence. Do you... Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Big people arrest them. Think about your wife. for something.
On the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Well, it could be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb.
Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Just leave me here. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah, looks worse in the day. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but... Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. And the lamp's broke, too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. There's some marks here, on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. You 
heard uh, the new uh, Jake and Stevens album yet? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? But you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Did you cut yourself coming in the window? Why? Is that... It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me hand. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you? It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. Well, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals, and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. And I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Big B. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When I say so, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. <laughs> this is all getting a bit stressful, all right? Please, just take it easy. 
Oh, Jesus. You're gonna tell me right now what the fuck happened before we showed up. Maybe. I... If it even has the faintest whiff of bullshit, I'm gonna. Dad! Pigby, is this really necessary? Oh, me bloody eye! He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Pigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What was he looking for? I don't have a fucking clue, Sheriff. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. You will merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Don't make it a dilemma. I'm sorry. Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? Boy, am I glad that I called you. Fucking Christ. Next time, just go to the bloody trip trap if you're looking for the woodsman. I'll be honest, Bigby, I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. He'll be all right. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Hey! 
Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but... I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I can't tell if you don't know, or just won't say. Thanks I for wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. Then you should do something about it. You are in a position to make a difference. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. If you really want to help, you'll figure out a way. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. Just be careful, please. The same goes for you. I will. What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. 
So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nuts. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... Well, I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. Huh. You get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. You'll never guess where I found the other one of these. No, I won't. His place. Whose is that? Someone who left. Someone like the guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you, I haven't seen him for a couple days. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. A lot of stools in this place. But there's only one right next to you. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> That's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is fun. This back and forth. We should really do it more often. But, uh, I'm starting to lose my patience. You're out of paper towels and uh... number one or number two. For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Not sure I believe you. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. This fella put his hand on me, ended up with an axe in his head. Last fella I put my hand on, ended up in the ground. Okay, Gren. It's funny, just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, 
Everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> well, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. Why'd you do it? No bullshit. Same reason people do a lot of awful things. For money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it, but she had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. What are you talking about exactly? Red Riding Hood? Her grandmother? I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. I'm dragging you back to the woodland. For what? Jesus, Bigby, that fucking hurt. Wasting my fucking time. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. Only comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Lapdog? Really? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. <laughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Enough.
You fucking monster! Whiskey. Doubled. Submit a damage report with my office. Fabletown will pay for this. Charge the drink on there, too. And the glass. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? If you run, it'll be worse. Trust me. Bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck. That's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Wait, the woodsmen still walk in the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Friend on friend, at the end of the year. Jesus Christ, baby. Lisa, 